Я попрошу учасників круглого столу відключити мобільні телефони на годиночку, якщо можна, щоб вони нам не заважали <кій> спілкуватися. Будемо розпочинати. Доброго дня, шановні колеги журналісти. Діа колегс, good afternoon. Діа спікерс, good afternoon. On behalf of Ukraine Crisis Media Center, I would like to thank you very much for coming here, that you have found time to come here. You can see that the topic uh, of today's briefing is very important for the whole nation, for uh, our citizens living all over the countries, for our state. The topic is uh, what will be after the liquidation of sanitary and epidemiological service. Uh, whether this is reform imitation or a new system of public health. Uh, first, please uh, let's speak about the future in uh, uh, rather certain terms of what uh, specific steps uh, should be, what specific next steps we should do, not to discuss what uh, has already been done. The uh, Sanitary and Epidemiological Service uh, was liquidated in 2014. Not all our citizens know this uh, fact that says uh, was liquidated. So what uh, would uh, be in future, what uh, agency is responsible for epidemiological state in the country? This is contains all the catering system, kindergartens, schools, uh, who is responsible in our country? And in this context uh, of public health, because public health topic means not only sanitary and epidemiological situation in the country, the topic is much broader. Uh, we will use public discourse. Uh, this is preventive me medicine, uh, anti-epidemiological uh, uh, actions, uh, and diabetes, uh, and the cardiac diseases, how to prevent and control them. We are short of time. We uh, are also... Uh, listened all over the country in Mariupol and Lviv and journalists from those cities will ask questions. Our speaker's panel is very professional and versatile. Here we can see both experts and representatives of national authorities. So SES was liquidated, uh, a full stop. Uh, who is responsible for outbreaks uh, of uh, epi epidemics and for control of the epidemics? I am giving the word to Oksana Sivak, Deputy Minister of Healthcare of Ukraine, responsible for epidemiological situation. Good afternoon to uh, our public and audience, patients, uh, public health. Uh, this is uh, the component where we are not component, uh, not patients yet, uh, uh, where we prevent diseases not to become patients. Uh, this is the principal difference. Uh, <clears throat> public uh, should maintain its, uh, their health uh, so we can divide the uh, healthcare system into two components, prevention of diseases and uh, then control of diseases. So our uh, people knows how much drugs cost, but the preventive actions, uh, they are not in focus. Our vision of uh, uh, present day and international uh, uh, cases, international best 
practices in the developed countries, we can see that the best practices mean preventive actions and the maintenance of public health. So says was liquidated. This is true, but the functions which says was uh, uh, responsible for they were not liquidated. They were entrusted to the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of uh, Agriculture and the Veterinary uh, services. We uh, had a meeting with the European Commissioner on food safety and uh, public health. Food safety is on the first place. Uh, this is the top issue. Our colleagues didn't understand where the food safety is and where is the agrarian uh, part. Uh, he told very simply, what comes uh, from the field to uh, the table? This is uh, uh, agrarian component and what is from the table and uh, after the table what uh, happens after you uh, have eaten some food this is the responsibility of food safety component uh, the uh, we have legislation we have uh, uh, which uh, mm, entrusted us with the functions and which uh, outlined the, the functions, which functions are of our ministry and which functions uh, um, uh, are the functions of the ministry, uh, agrarian ministry. Uh, the permit function was uh, liquidated because uh, uh, when the system was established uh, 70 years ago, uh, ago, the goal was to prevent infections, intoxications, and other problems. But evolutionally, it turned into a corrupt, uh, a totally corrupt component. We would like uh, to transit to civilize the approaches to train um, to nurture responsibility in our citizens and businesses uh, that they are responsible for public health to prevent uh, uh, disease and outbreaks epidemiological uh, surveillance will be conducted, we will investigate the cases uh, of intoxications or infectious outbreaks, but uh, such functions uh, when SES inspectors uh, in the past uh, visited, used to visit entities, businesses with some examinations, this is now no longer uh, the function of uh, of the Ministry of Health. The Center of Public Health has been already established. The director uh, has been appointed to the center. All laboratories which previously uh, were under SES, they uh, were uh, tra uh, transferred uh, and now uh, we learn them uh, to test not only biological uh, but also infectious uh, agents because uh, uh, the mortality rate the, uh, of uh, from infectious diseases is higher. Sixty percent uh, mortality. Uh, is attributable to infections. Uh, we also should prevent cancer and cardiac diseases as uh, that is why inspectors will be trained uh, uh, relevantly. I have a question. 
if a sales inspector comes to examine some business, what should this um, the uh, management of such entity to do? Maybe there are some reasons they can't. Uh, the inspectors can can't uh, visit uh, enterprise without uh, uh, relevant grounds. Uh, uh, the grounds should be um, demonstrated why they came. So there are no schedule of uh, examinations, but uh, ad hoc inspections are possible upon claims. Let's uh, Look into the definitions. Says as an agency is no longer in place. It was liquidated, but there is sanitary epidemiological service uh, as a function. Uh, the law on sanitary epidemiological service still is valid. It was not cancelled, so this is a collision. I am for changes, I am for public health, because maybe I will be uh, uh, someone may say that I stand for the old regime, but this is not so. What? should be the first, uh, the cart or the horse. The horse should be the first. The changes should have been introduced to the legislation, but the legislation have not been amended. Uh, as an, I was nominated uh, uh, for the director uh, Office of the Public Health Center. Uh, our Constitution says that the state has the function to maintain sanitary and epidemiological control. So what is happening to this function now? The Ministry of, uh, of uh, Health regulates uh, this field, sanitary and epidemiological function, articulate the policy, and when the policy is drafted, it is presented to the Ministry of Agrarian Policy for implementation. The Ministry of Agrarian Policy, in the name of state Consumer Service Protection Protection Service implements uh, the basics uh, of health, uh, the law uh, on uh, tuberculosis, uh, on infectious diseases. How the Ministry of Agrarian Policy can implement uh, the provisions of these laws? The legislation should be amended. There is a concept that has been developed by the Ministry of Health, by its working group, including Victor Leshko and Ms. Irina and Ms. Oksana. Please comment the situation today, how the Ministry of Agrarian Policy can implement the policy developed by the Ministry of Health. What is happening? Uh, well, uh, we should uh, anyway go back to 2014 when uh, the resolution 442 uh, decided to reorganize the sanitary epidemiological service uh, 
liquidating it, transferring its functions to the state consumer protection service, the state labor protection service, and the nuclear protection service. Uh, the resolution didn't say uh, to give these functions to the Ministry of Agrarian Policy. The Ministry of Health did not agree to this resolution. It didn't want uh, to give these functions to other services. The Ministry of Health wanted this function uh, to uh, remain in its uh, uh, responsibility, in its competence. So the competence of the central national body in the sphere of public health uh, was uh, assigned this fiction, uh, function. So the Minister of Health made sev uh, several next steps. Uh, they uh, conducted audit of the laboratories in order to find out, uh, to define which laboratories we need uh, in order to implement the function of epidemiological safety uh, maintenance. The system should be ready to counteract biological terrorist acts. Then we uh, saw some cases of sabotage uh, among uh, the staff uh, of the of some agencies, uh, the ministries uh, should have been uh, appointed responsible for uh, relevant functions. So chaos uh, appeared, chaos situation started. The Ministry of Health uh, thought that uh, uh, the state uh, food safety service, they uh, started examining business entities just the same way as SES previously con had conducted their scheduled in examinations. Mr. Uh, Alexey Kirichenko, the floor is yours. And uh, as an MP, as a member of the working group, you should know better. Uh, yeah, the draft law was uh, uh, registered on Friday. Its number is uh, 5134. It tries to delineate and outline all the functions, uh, amending some pieces of legislation of Ukraine in the sphere of sanitary and epidemiological welfare of population of Ukraine. This is a fundamental draft law amending 28 laws of Ukraine. Uh, it makes uh, more than 30 procedures uh, are either cancelled or they are streamlined in so that businesses do not feel any uh, pressure on the part of sanitary and epidemiological examinations. So uh, we uh, prevent uh, abuse of powers uh, through implementation of this law. So sanitary epidemiological opinions may not be issued now, but uh, the state food safety service tries uh, 
to take this function which previously had been the function of says they tried to issue such sanitary epidemiological opinion so there will be some time between first and second reading of this bill uh, the uh, maybe the bill is not perfect but this is an attempt to regulate this issue to the manager of this uh, food safety services here and we are giving the floor to him uh, do you implement uh, do you carry out this uh, function of control i heard that i try to uh, take some functions which got to be used functions of the sanitary epidemiological service we w work with uh, research institutions subordinated to the ministry of health uh, when some functions were entrusted to us after says was uh, um, liquidated i can say that uh, the documents which i sign in this field they are just fakes because we do not conduct any activities but we should do some uh, functions uh, such as uh, uh, laboratory examination in order to prevent very hazardous uh, uh, agents uh, influence then uh, when we talk about the second uh, level of uh, hazard uh, such agents can be controlled less strictly there are some also food stuff which are not to be examined. They should not be subject to examination. So to form such a smart and logical model, uh, we will support it. We do not like to take some others' functions. Uh, yes, uh, we carry out the functions of SES, uh, be, uh, except the block concerning diseases, which is the function of the Ministry of Health. So what uh, the uh, state uh, surveillance uh, of a food safety means today. We have two f uh, uh, powers. The first is uh, um, to schedule inspections and examinations by risk criteria. Yes, we have scheduled these diminutions. They have not been cancelled. The second is out of schedule examination by claim of consumers. Territorial bodies uh, go to us uh, for a permit uh, to check uh, some uh, business, some enterprise, uh, and uh, we also should warn such enterprise that we will visit them. Uh, we should notify them 10 days in advice. So to when we visit an enterprise after the 10 days, during 10 days, the, they correct uh, the shortcomings. So the state surveillance and control system, uh, I think, uh, works imperfectly because uh, the examinations uh, 
uh, should be carried out uh, without notifications. Of course, this is unpopular uh, point of view. As concerns statistics uh, on mass intoxications, uh, and mass poisonings by food, we uh, are on the record high place. Uh, when a business entity is guilty, uh, we have no mechanism to bring them to liability. Also, we have uh, dozens of victims in some cases, so we inherited what we, what the system had uh, as of July this year. But uh, really, the legislative fundamentals uh, should be corrected. Uh, we put efforts uh, to maintain uh, the summer season uh, healthy. We try to be proactive. Uh, well, I was late. I came here late. And our topic is about liquidation of sales uh, with uh, we just change the title of this body or we change the essence. We issue opinions. Nothing has changed because the legislation remains in place. It has not been changed. The next question. So this was uh, just the title that it had uh, that had been changed. So what should we do? What next steps should we do to change the essence of this system? Who in Ukraine, when something happened, when we uh, then uh, the examination should take place, and who is responsible for adherence? to the sanitary norms in hospitals, kindergartens, schools, or who should be responsible for adherence to the safety epidemiological sanitary norms. Uh, this is the function of the state. Uh, to ensure control. The Minister of Health, uh, what can you tell us? We come to the market, we buy some food stuff, or our children go to school or to the kindergartens, and then we uh, watched on TV how many cases of intoxications happen in schools and kindergartens, how the system works in the country. There are many questions. The uh, cases differ. Market, this is one um, case. Every market is uh, has its own laboratory uh, for examining the food, which should be uh, the stamps laboratory operate on the markets. We know that there is a room for improvement there. Uh, talking about kindergartens and schools, in kindergartens, uh, commissions are established before the um, educational uh, period. Uh, our specialists. Uh, are members of this commission as well. There are systemic problems which can't be resolved at our level. This is connected to the lack of finances. And for example, the case in Ismail, where more than 700 people uh, got the infectious disease, this means that the uh, monetary inputs, uh, cash flows uh, sh should flow to the utility so that they maintain water quality. Uh, so 
I would like to specify because when we use this term laboratory centers that were previously uh, the centers of sanitary stations and then they under the Ministry of Health. So this is not just laboratories with uh, uh, some equipment. This is not just a laboratory. There is a department where doctors work, uh, hygiene specialists and other specialists who carry out uh, comprehensive checks. So this is not the laboratory we uh, are accustomed to. So the functions of the sanitary service, they are carried out by these laboratories and the state uh, tries to identify what system of sanitary um, what sanitary system that they need. So the areas that are adjacent to the ATO area, there are no epidemiology specialists and no sanitary doctors, and there are big cities that also lost uh, the specialists in epidemiology because um, uh, yet it is to identify what entities we really need in the sphere. So if the situation uh, will be like that, so uh, there are no people, no specialists who can help in solving these problems. And uh, there are no specialists in this, fe in this field. So a uh, medical university named after Bagamolets they have first-year students now who will specialize in preventive medicine. And in the country, there are only 20 people, graduates of the six-year study, that are specialists in preventive med medicine. So we create health, uh, public health centers. But who is going to work there? Because uh, the specialists that worked in the sanitary service, uh, they found new work and they won't return. So uh, these people, they are honest. They cannot leave their employment just because we created something new and ask them to return. And the Ministry of Health for this year carry out weekly in each region of Ukraine, I do it personally with my colleagues for, and national trainers. We meet with doctors and we have uh, one day trainings and we remind to them what the system of uh, sanitary observation means, what family doctors should do, what uh, pediatricians, neurologists, all those who work in the system, what is their work actually. And um, this is like our system work now, and uh, um, also with the help of UNICEF and uh, uh, WHO office in Ukraine, uh, we work in this field, but we lose a lot in the system, and we should speak about it and deal with these issues. So we should have specialists in public health. So these people should be trained. So what should we do? I mean, one thing that should be done in the nearest future in order to make changes in the public health sector. So we heard the comments from state power and the people's deputies. So. Let's ask Natalia. So, as a specialist in public health, what do you think uh, should be done to introduce changes in the sphere? You know, for the last several years, when I I deal with these issues for several years, and uh, it looks like uh, the sphere of public health is trying to get on a train that has already passed. So they try to reform the sanitary sphere in the Ministry of Health. 
is trying to get on the train, but the train has left. And the situation resulted in the liquidation of the sanitary service. But this issue is uh, uh, not that simple. So what should be done in order to start real reform? Not liquidation, not reduction, but real reform. The ministry should start to initiate some changes by themselves, not to wait that someone else will do something. They, they should first start to speak with people at regional level, not only in the uh, center, but also with local elites to discuss the issues of public health and to develop the law on public health. And the uh, uh, draft law that was introduced to, to the Supreme Council is uh, important for short-term prospects, but uh, the, uh, public health is not only food products. This is the broader issue, not only prevention, but the necessity to have a system that can prevent reveal and actively react at the problem for the society in the sphere of public health for all the population or for identified groups of population. So thank you. So uh, the first uh, important thing is uh, to adopt proper law on public health and the di uh, di dialogue, of course, at the uh, local level. I ga give the floor to Ms. Uh, uh, Valiani. The, um, so I know you, that you once had uh, the um, uh, Department of Health in Georgia. So what would be your advice in order to improve the situation here in Ukraine. Thank you very much for this invitation. Firstly, I will answer your question. Um, first, uh, there are many functions in public health sector that sanitary service didn't implement. And uh, there are functions that address more important challenges that SAS could never uh, address. So the main burden is non-infectious diseases and uh, modern uh, prevention system should have screening programs and also the work with population and health centers. They are obsolete in the system now. And uh, the issues of uh, uh, HIV I know that many issues are dealt with uh, by NGOs with donor funds, but there should be state programs and NGO should work in the sector also and uh, uh, there should be centers of public health and uh, there should be planning on a national level and then on a grassroots level. Second, we should uh, fight resistant tuberculosis and the specialist cannot deal with these issues uh, in order to ask patients to uh, have these medicines. Uh, so this is a function of public health. They should work with vulnerable groups that uh, do not address public health. And this is the function of public health. And uh, biosecurity is also important, biosafety. And, um, there are many threats and challenges. They are huge. And the uh, laboratory system and sanitary system, they should develop. So the centers of public health, uh, this is not administrative body. It is an intellectual resource for the state in order to take decisions, to plan programs of public health, and also immunization. The centers. They uh, ensure that each child be vaccinated and um, there should be uh, procurements of vaccines and uh, they should be available in the centers and uh, this function should be monitored. So these are many major directions of work. So if we are speaking about inspection and control, control and e-check, 
they do not guarantee that in a week after this check, they won't uh, try to change or to make some difference in the situation. And uh, or we know that inspection and control function is ineffective. Uh, if you don't even don't take into account corruption, and there are mechanisms how to uh, assure the rights of the population, and uh, after liquidation of sanitary system, there w w w were no outbreaks of major diseases, and uh, the centers were uh, the, uh, the centers were developed. The sanitary functions and the functions of the service, they were distributed to different uh, other entities. Uh, so um, they work uh, in cooperation. They uh, control the situation uh, by centers that, uh, and also local government at grassroots level, there are small centers of public health. Because Georgia, you know, it is smaller than Ukraine, but methodologically, a center of public health is the main, and there, there should be intellectual resources. Public health specialists, uh, they should be trained. Also, there should be epidemiology specialists, and uh, epidemiology is now different uh, uh, than it was previously taught in the uh, health uh, institutes. That's why we should uh, improve the work in this area. Viktoria Tomaszewska, uh, Renaissance Foundation specialist in public health. So I believe in two things. And budget and uh, funds, and also I believe in NGOs. The function of the Center of Public Health so should be concentrated in one center, and it should be uh, financed. Uh, so this is intellectual potential salaries and the work that should be implemented at different level. And the second I want to sa say is communication between uh, three services. Uh, that uh, have the functions, and uh, we should have uh, real communication, not competition, in order that these services understand that they do not compete, nor for budget, nor for people. They have functions, and uh, only through communication they can have good cooperation. Without it, it will be just uh, uh, not what we want. And uh, NGOs, they. Uh, do a lot of work, uh, information campaigning, and uh, uh, of course the centers should do this uh, work also. Uh, so they s supervise the groups of the patients, so there should be good combination of different entities. So we should speak about business as well, because many of them deal with uh, health uh, care functions and uh, they can cooperate in the system. What should be do, done? So the key thing here is uh, uh, legislation to distribute functions properly. We clearly understand that uh, we need new legislation, and we are ready to adhere to it, and we help and communication between different entities, and we will be able to form this sector. And what are the terms as to legislation? First, to reach uh, agreement among main stakeholders, because deputies, they reflect uh, the opinions in the society. And here we should uh, hold some meetings and discuss these issues at the level of main stakeholders. Draft law was um, registered in July, and another was registered a week ago. And uh, we need time in order to understand them and to go to committees at the level of the Supreme Council. Uh, with the support of expert community. I believe this is the minimal um, program, and uh, I believe that we have representatives of uh, uh, the Supreme Council, and 
the draft laws they should be developed by working groups and uh, different stakeholders uh, should participate in this process thank you Oksana, what is your recommendation so everything should be we have communication we have plans of meeting of meetings so uh, the experts lawyers they meet and discuss the issues and what we are lacking is campaigning information education so there is information war against healthcare system and we failed in this and our opponents say that vaccination is bad and we should tell people we should go to people we should speak to with doctors uh, patients with people and to tell them what should be done in what way it should be done to inform about the risks to work with the risk groups so there should be educational campaign and uh, it should go parallel with uh, legislative initiatives and uh, it is really important to educate people properly uh, uh. I agree with previous speakers, at least many of them, and I would like to articulate my position. We should uh, form uh, the vision of our system, how it would work, and then implement it. Uh, as an MP, I know that the discussion process is rather long. It may be years long. There was political will to liquidate CES, whether it was a, a right or wrong decision. We do not discuss this uh, fact now. Let's uh, uh, realize, uh, implement uh, uh, what uh, we have. We have the draft law. We submitted it to the Verkhovna Rada and we have certain mechanism, but we should adequately understand that our ministers and the Ministry of um, Health and the head of Ministry of Agrarian Policy, uh, they very often are uh, changed. We should uh, demonstrate to our population that there are some positive achievements and then go forward. Uh, there are functions of surveillance, of uh, immunization. This function should uh, be vested in primary medicine. Uh, which is in poor condition and multi-resistant TB, antibiotics resistance, uh, they are the functions of primary medicine. Uh, we can't uh, demand uh, the doctors uh, to conduct these functions because their salaries are 2,000 grivnas, so the public health well, the ministry should be a leader uh, talking about public health to present this concept of reform. Let's not focus. We have question from the regions, uh, uh, Skype connection, Mikolaev and Kherson. Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Your questions, please. Good afternoon. Uh, we are uh, speaking from Kherson. I have a question to the head of uh, uh, Food Safety Service. Uh, how do you control um, passage of food on uh, the customs at the border of Ukraine? Uh, this control is uh, the function of your service uh, is it, it should it be documentary control of food or and testing of food in kind well uh, sanitary opinions for foods uh, mm, 
Resolution 2030 and Resolution 2031, they regulate the procedure. Uh, we uh, now coordinate our office with the Minister of Finance. The specifics of uh, testing at customs at the border of Ukraine, they have been regulated in the um, uh, part of uh, sanitary, epidemiological, and phytosanitary control. An application uh, is submitted to one window service, and after four hours, it receives the response um, when uh, his uh, goods would be examined. There are no special problems with this, but the law 1602, it requires improvements uh, as concerns periods of control. They should be better regulated and also as concerns definition of laboratory testing when a customs when a person, an entity's uh, uh, goods uh, get some customs, it should have the list what tests, what examinations uh, uh, this uh, entity uh, should pass. Uh, the answer is not full. So the opinions, sanitary and epidemiological expert opinions, they have been cancelled. So what uh, examinations should be conducted? The uh, food. Uh, the State Food and Consumer Protection Service conducts examinations. There were four cases when an inspector may send food staff to the examinations. Uh, customs clearance is very strictly regulated. The procedure has been established. Good afternoon. My name is Glib Golovchenko. I represent TV channel TAC TV. We have program Press Club. We have been on the air for six years. I have never seen the chief sanitary and epidemiological doctor. So transparency of this reform is real challenge. I would believe in this reform when we start watching on TV the interviews of the leader uh, bureaucrats leading this reform. So I have a question to Miss Oksana. Tell us Please, uh, what schedule of communicating to population on TV and in other mass media sources? Uh, yes, we have been just uh, uh, compiling such a communication schedule. Uh, we will have the meeting of regional chief uh, doctors uh, concerning dissemination of such information. You will be seeing us very often as civil servants. The second question, talking about budget money. Today's reform of public health uh, uh, should provide some money for the mass communication. What funds have been allocated? The state budget have not allocated money to this communication, public awareness, but the World Bank provides $400,000. As a team, we just got to know about this opportunity. Maybe this uh, amount of funds is not very large, but we will be very efficient in using them. And we also have NGOs and grants from uh, donors. We will use them as well. 
uh, for public awareness campaigns. Uh, donors will wor work with NGOs, and NGOs will go to regions to disseminate information. Uh, you now have the opportunity to talk to our colleague uh, who has uh, experience of Georgian case. Uh, I saw myself when the president canceled the Center Epidemiological Service. Uh, first, they uh, uh, conducted public awareness campaign and then the community asked to, to cancel sanitary epidemiological service. Let's use best practice of Georgia. I have a question to Ms. Mr. Lapa. Uh, you remember that Nikolaev region uh, experience uh, quarantine because of African plaque. Uh, but it seems to me that grain trainer there's uh, who were not uh, interested in epidemic outbreak uh, i think they influenced the decision and the quarantine was not uh, declared in the city of Mikolaev. Uh, let's uh, talk about the influence of interest groups. The process of uh, forming quarantine zones, it does not depend on the point of view of grain traders as interest groups. Uh, in Mikolaev region and the Dessa region, the situation is not simple, but uh, horizontal actions are um, implemented in both regions according to the directives. Uh, there are problems in both regions with payment to the population for their hogs which uh, have been expropriated by us in the framework of quarantine. So local budgets do not have money to pay to people for their losses. Uh, uh, so before the second re reading of the draft law, we will be um, discussing the question of improvement of the control system and the system of uh, remunerations. A quasi non-controlled zone when we saw it in Nikolaev region, we tried to put all the efforts and we have managed to stabilize the situation. Thank you to Ukraine Crisis Media Center for this discussion. We hope for transparency of the Ministry of Health. Thank you very much. I will be very short uh, talking about regional initiatives, the uh, concept of public health uh, have already been developed uh, many initiatives in particular in Odessa, in uh, regional administration, uh, the public health center uh, uh, initiative we have, and in other cities as well, the region look at the national level as concerns recommendations and establishing regional centers of public health. I have. Uh, question to Fedor Lapi, chief pediatric immunologist of Kiev. Now, influenza season is coming to us. Uh, uh, is our country ready to this uh, 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 influenza epidemic, uh, which is ahead? Uh, what can uh, whether the public awareness campaign has been prepared before the influenza season? We are in the mid of the process. I don't ask about Ebola virus. I am asking about influenza virus. As concerns vaccines, as far as I know, there will be on a single vaccine uh, this season uh, as it was last year. 
it is small number of doses of vaccines because uh, the culture of vaccination against influenza is not broad, uh, is not <coughs> disseminated properly in Ukraine, whether we have a vaccine. It is in the process of legalization. It goes forbidden procedures if some department of the Ministry of Health and the local administrations uh, in, in allocate budgets uh, to buy vaccine if they have programs uh, of immunization, for, a grams, uh, for example, uh, patients uh, suffering some special diseases such as mucoviscidosis, they should be immunized. Uh, they have problems to be um, resolved in Ukraine. We have uh, we do not have uh, uh, information collection activities. Information is not of high quality. And we do not have analytical statistics in order uh, to conduct some interventions uh, which will be maximum efficient, everything which we uh, experience in the immunization sphere, our economic situations have completely changed. We have a, a dramatically different situation. Uh, the, ten years ago, we didn't use internet. Uh, uh, we should provide information in proper ways. Uh, 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 the language should be understandable. What does it mean, organoleptic uh, properties of water? Many community members do not understand uh, this indicator of water quality. So how to prevent uh, diseases, how to find these weak links in the chains, uh, a separate uh, area. PR is a separate function, separate activities, which should be in focus now. Volunteers previously conduct public awareness activities, but uh, the state should do this. Uh, now we always uh, uh, put uh, uh, these uh, functions on some international institution, but this is uh, the function of national agencies uh, to collect information, mm, uh, to find out which kind of information should be disseminated among population. Uh, and analytical statistics should be gathered. After immunization, uh, we should have a healthy public and a good image of our country. Thank you. Uh, so we will now be finishing our event. Uh, we have one question, last question. I have a question to Irina Kolesnikova. You told there are no specialists. You lost the staff of Sanitary Epidemiological Service. I remember that 20 years ago, Kiev had the sanitary hygienic faculty in the National Shevchenko University uh, where many sanitary epidemiological doctors uh, uh, studied in the medical university you meant. Yes, Bakamolets Medical University. Uh, the faculty um, uh, no, did not exist now. It uh, had not been existing since 2005. Uh, this uh, year we had uh, only one faculty like this in the country. Uh, 
Uh, there were not many specialists uh, who graduated from six uh, medical universities uh, uh, preparing experts for sanitary epidemiological service. We lost one in Donetsk the year before last. Uh, there was one faculty in Kharkiv, one in Dnipropetrovsk National Medical University after Bohomolets in Kiev, Lviv Medical University, and we restored in 2011 in Odessa National Medical University as a specialty. But today this uh, specialty uh, we still have in Kiev train experts, those sanitary epidemiological young doctors who graduated this faculty, 30,000 people worked in 2014. Not people, there were vacancies, not all vacancies were filled, well, if at least just one half. There were not so many experts. I disagree. The analysis conducted by the European Center of Disease Control in our country, we have uh, m more uh, epidemiologists than in other countries of Europe. Per, uh, mm. Uh, one thousand of population. We just should use this resource. We have this resource. Uh, we should use integrated approach to uh, healthcare reform. I disagree with you, Victor. This analysis was as of 2015. Well, uh, thank you very much for this meeting. I hope we will have opportunity uh, to meet again uh, in future to talk about next steps uh, in more concrete terms. Uh, the Ministry of Health representatives can hear us. I would like accent on the uh, disease number one which caused deaths in Ukraine, they are non-infectious diseases. NGOs do not understand the essence of public health reform. They do not understand what uh, is the function of public health center. And today, there is no understanding the functions, tasks of this uh, uh, public health center and what are the best practices in other countries in this sphere. So this is the new step, new level in the management and the Ministry of Health loses in the information war in this case. So taking experience, proceeding from Georgian experience, we should understand that such reforms may not be be efficient when the uh, power is in crisis. We will see that the delineation of powers is a problem. We should have an integrated vision and understand which result we would like to achieve. And the reform of Helms is just this uh, mechanism. I hope that uh, Miss Nizova, we will invite her here and she will tell us about the strategy and functions of the public health center, what KPIs uh, they have uh, in infectious and non-infectious diseases. We just have touched a little bit this topic today. This discussion should um, uh, be uh, continued in future. Uh, as concern uh, what you propose to you propose to tell just one thing which is important. We are talking in different languages. This is the main thing we should 
talk in one language we should speak one language and this should be legal language who is responsible either the state food and consumer service no the owners of uh, businesses uh, they are responsible for the conditions uh, in at schools i am talking about owners of restaurants uh, schools state schools uh, owners are public authorities and uh, control surveillance uh, this is quite the other thing some time ago we were told who is responsible for an outbreak the chief sanitary doctor should be dismissed because uh, it is his responsibility no owners are responsible and we should understand this and we also have so valence bodies which control uh, the process so we can see now that the control service remains in place the state food and uh, consumer service uh, uh, their experts go on site with visits and laboratory services remain uh, on the uh, Ministry of Health. Then the Food and Consumer Service called to the Ministry of Health asking uh, the laboratories to go and sample, to take samples and test samples of food. So legislative regulations, this is what we need. Well, uh, we. I think that the number, how can we not talk the, about the laboratories because laboratories remain under the Ministry of Health. My brother is a resident of the other country. When he went for a permit to local authorities in order to place uh, some uh, hardscape at his own land plot. Today, who controls schools? Uh, we but so d does someone care about the equipment in school who controls the situation there and this is public health why our children why the sight of our children deteriorate So there should be safe conditions at school, at different facilities. There is a correlation between the reasons and consequences. And uh, now there is a gap in the system. So the center, NCDC became a brand in Georgia, and people trust these centers, and uh, they are trusted even more than ministries in the state because this is independent structure. And they say, do this and this, and this is good for your health, and uh, people visit their site in order to get information about circulation of different diseases, and schools address for standards to the organization and they say please recommend what we should do and how not because they will be supervised but because these uh, this organization it should be really trusted as Robert Koch Institute in Germany CDC in the United States so the organizations you um, people trust and they see that to prevent cancer they should do this and that and the uh, private sector also addresses these organizations 
in order to verify their own laboratories and so on and so forth. And then it will be a real center of public health. And if people will afraid that some infection, uh, some inspections will come from this center, that this is not the center of public health, but they should recommend standards uh, how to prevent disease. And uh, then people will trust the center. So there should be changes in the conscience of people, it should be a function of uh, counseling, of prevention, not control function. Uh, so number one should be at the state level, there should be prevention as the main priority, because um, we cannot make our people healthy by controlling things. So we had uh, previously a 52 million. Now we have about 40 million plus minus. So the longevity didn't increase. So this is the indicator of all the services. So the absurdity of the situation. If products are dangerous, we won't allow them to the market. But uh, uh, we um, do some control, and uh, if products are dangerous, how can we verify this? So there are many different indicators, and uh, now several laws are there uh, on the um, on food products, on uh, epidemiology tests. So, but they are not coordinated, and uh, they require funds from the budget. Look at the budget. Uh, what money is allocated for prevention of uh, sports facilities? Maybe you heard the news yesterday. Three billion dollars were invested into prevention because uh, uh, fifty times more they spend for uh, treatment than for preven prevention. So the center of public health should be an entity everyone will trust and address to get uh, fair information. And there should be doctors who specialize in prevention, and um, the center will be trusted. So I would like to cl clarify some things. We are not opponents. This is pluralism of opinion. Mm, for the audience, for those people who are present here, I would like to note that we had good epidemiologists, but we should understand that there is a special, there are specialists in public health. So there are faculties, there are different institutions, but uh, uh, we should have special training for specialists like this. We are lacking in the area of training specialists. So it, it depends on us, on deputies, on cabinet of ministers, uh, on uh, knowing languages, because people who traveled and got education in Rotterdam and Milan in the United States, I have uh, people who say that uh, they are ready to provide help. Uh, they were trained how to analyze the information and how to provide advice. So what information is needed in order to get good results? So also, I know that uh, Kiev City, Coun uh, City Council uh, established the rule that uh, the alcohol shouldn't be sold at night. So is there an analytical survey whether it will lead to decrease of alcoholism? Or maybe people will poison themselves with some surrogate pro products. So. Someone should verify this information because these are populist uh, decisions. So the recommendations should be provided by uh, specialists of public health sector. Our association uh, 
carried out uh, surveys in the sphere of public health throughout Ukraine, and I would like to say that the function of public health is not just control, but understanding of the factors that influence health and influence on it. And uh, also, people should be responsible for their health, for their organization, and uh, solving these issues is important and uh, properly addressed. And our uh, survey establishes the main causes of this, and we try to cooperate with the Ministry of Health. It is difficult because uh, they solve their own problems. And there is a feeling now that they started to try to solve problems of people, and it is the going to the level of um, solving real problems, because they should not only control, we should uh, educate people to be responsible for their own health, because this is their personal pr responsibility. And uh, the centers of public health, they should establish what is the main factor in the sphere. And the majority of population die not from infection. And um, if we want to improve indicators, you sh we should influence the factors that are the causes of deaths, number one. And uh, this is not so difficult. There are a lot of things that can be done. They do not require a lot of finances and greater effort. But what we lost, we are in the competition. and. Uh, we should have trust in the state, and uh, we lose two commercial companies because uh, they set trends. And the uh, state lives in, uh, in the past, and it operates the instruments of the past. So we as population should act on our own, and um, uh, the state is lagging behind, and the role of NGOs is important, and there is a European ex experience. We shouldn't invent a bike. We should get all the resources that we can get. Thank you very much for this discussion, and we hope for this new discussion with the head of the center, and we wish you good health. And uh, till the next time, goodbye.